brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation and by the Ultra Electronics Oracle Engine Management System. While you're at the AOPA Summit, be sure to stop by booth 831 and find out about Lightspeed Aviation's Trade Up program. And share your story with all of the other pilots who are telling us why Zulu has changed their mind. Hi, I'm Jeb Burnside reporting from AOPA's Aviation Summit for AVWeb. At shows like this, modifications to existing aircraft are always very popular. In this brief video, we're going to show you three we found here at the show, starting with Premier Aviation's modification of the Diamond DA-40. Here's Fred Aulis. This is the 2010 Diamond 40 XLS Premier Edition. The Premier Edition has been modified at the Diamond factory with the Hartzell composite two-bladed propeller and new exterior graphics. Then the aircraft is taken to Premier Aircraft in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to be modified further to complete a Premier 1 Edition or a Premier 2 Edition. The Premier 1 Edition includes Lepresti boom beam landing lights. It includes a second alternator system for aircraft redundancy and increased uh, night lighting and we've totally redesigned the interior of the Diamond 40 for those discriminating pilots that want more seat comfort, more luxurious leathers and more customization. The aircraft is available for $13,900 upgrade as a Premier 1 and a Premier 2 edition includes air conditioning for $41,800 total. It includes the air conditioning and all of the Premier 1 features. Refurbishing older airplanes like the Cessna 210 or Cherokee 6 remain very popular. I'm standing here beside the Sierra Industries Super Centurion modification and I'll let Dave Welch of that company tell you about it. The Sierra Super Centurion is a combination of several STCs that we have and modifications, starting with the Robertson Stoll Kit that uh, gives you a, a lower stall speed and uh, better performance on short takeoff and landing. And it also features the Garmin G500 uh, suite of avionics. And we've put a Garmin 430 and an EDM 930 uh, engine monitor in there. Uh, it's all put together on a custom powder-coated all-metal panel uh, that we have the SDC on and uh, nice paint, nice interior, and uh, a Victor Black Edition uh, overhaul. The, the costs involved, uh, we start out with an instrument panel uh, at $25,000 and up, uh, depending on what you want. The uh, Robertson Stoll Kit is $23,000 installed by us, or you can have it installed at your facility uh, as well. Uh, paint and interior is done on site in Uvalde, Texas, uh, and it's a turnkey operation. Of course, the 210 is popular because it hauls a load, but so does the Piper Saratoga. Here's David Featherstone of Next Air Avionics to talk about their Saratoga NX program. We have here the Saratoga NX. Its a base aircraft is a 1982 Piper Saratoga. And our project here was to take this aircraft and turn it into a what we would call a, a spinner to tail restoration better than new aircraft. We saw the Avidyne Release 9 hardware as a game changer in the industry and the ability for us to, in the aftermarket, to get real big glass into the aircraft panel. So we took a great airframe that everybody loves, six passenger, and we, we modified it with all the Lepresti speed mods that you see on here, the cowl, wing tips, uh, gap seals. We took the original interior out, remanufactured it with a more of an ergonomic car-like interior, almost like people, if they remember Recaro racing seats, they envelope you better. Um, some nice patterns. We redid the panel, of course, put the Avidyne Release 9 hardware in there, updated the electrical system complete from 12 volts to 24 volts, and what we present here is an aircraft that's been totally restored, firewall forward with a uh, remanufactured engine. Um, for, uh, for half the price of a, of a new aircraft. The Ultra Electronics Flight Line System's Oracle Engine Management System is the premier engine monitoring system certified as primary for over 350 models of aircraft. Come see us at Booth 603 where you can learn about the right Oracle for your aircraft and the exciting twin engine CRM 2120, which will be available in early 2010.